Story 49 of The Sun's Babies by Edith House. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Bunny Boy Now, Bunny Boy, said his mother, look after the house while I am away, and mind you do not go outside, for there are boys about today. What nonsense, thought Bunny Boy to himself, as if I could not run faster than any boy, and I have been waiting for a chance to go and see the world, so I shall go to-day. As soon as the bunny mother was out of sight, he slipped out and ran away, this naughty bunny boy, with his little white tail bobbing and his eyes shining with delight. Now I shall see what the great world is like, he thought. He came to a skylark sitting on her nest. Good day, Lady Skylark, he said. I am going to see the world. Would you like to come with me? Oh, dear, no, indeed, said the skylark. I have to sit on my eggs. Does your mother know you are going? Bunny Boy ran off at once. He did not want to answer that. He came next to a little hill where other bunny boys and bunny girls lived. They all came running out to see him and said, Stay and play with us. No, he said, I am going to see the world. Where is that? they asked. Somewhere over that big fence, said Bunny Boy. You may come with me if you like. We do not want to come, they said. You stay here with us. But Bunny Boy would not stay. He ran off again. The others called out, We will tell your mother of you. But he only ran the faster. He went through the big fence and came into a field of oats. Here men were busy cutting the oats, and Bunny Boy was so frightened by the noise they made that he scampered out of that field into the next. This was a field of grass, and Bunny Boy thought, Now I can begin to enjoy myself. Just then he heard a bark, and a big dog rushed over the grass after him. A boy came with the dog, and now poor Bunny Boy had to run for his life. How he did run! But the dog could run, too, and he nearly caught Bunny Boy. His mouth, with its sharp teeth, was just open, ready to snap on Bunny Boy's back, when Bunny Boy saw a hole in front of him, jumped into it, and was saved. At the bottom of the hole he found a bunny house, and some kind bunnies, who let him stay there till the dog and its master had gone away. Then he crept out and went sadly home. I will always do what you tell me, he said to his mother that night. It was dreadful out in the world. I would much rather stay at home and mind the house. End of story 49